Hello friends, um, for this video I'm going to show you uh, a custom Google Calendar uh, in App Script. So on the left of the screen uh, is a product I built uh, in the App Script. As you, as you can see here, uh, we have, uh, have a day view of the calendar and uh, on the right of the screen you can see this is my uh, Google Calendar here. Uh, I have some events uh, in this calendar. So in today, uh, August 21st, and this is on, on the left, is also in today. So if I go to uh, next day in my calendar, in my Google Calendar, as you can see here, I have uh, three events here and also in my uh, application here, I can go to next day. So it will going to retrieve the events from my Google Calendar and uh, display the events here. So we got the color, we got the event title here, and also you have the the start time and end time here. Okay. So basically, this is like a mirror of your Google Calendar. So. Mm, so the the good thing of this, uh, so if you are going to use this tool, uh, you you are going to allow the end user or your guest to create uh, create an event. So your your, uh, your guest can uh, can check your calendar. So maybe we can uh, we can. Uh, hold a meeting with you so he can see if you are available or not you can check so uh, on your calendar and uh, find a time to meeting with you so uh, let's say for tomorrow uh, we'd like to create a new event here uh, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, 9 a.m. so we just click and uh, here we have uh, a form here you, you need to so first one for the title we can set a so Google App Script event and uh, for the, here is the guest email address so you just put your email address here so if you have multiple uh, guests you can add the email address here as well just to separate the email address with comma that will be fine. Okay, Gmail. Let me try this. And the date, uh, uh, here is the time, the start time, and here is the start date. And the next one is end time and uh, the end date, okay? So it will going to bring this time automatically from the uh, from this script you select. And you also you can modify the time here and for the description. Uh, you can add a description here, just leave the comments, uh, leave the default description here. And once you uh, got all the items we need, you just click this button. And the script, we are going to create a new event, uh, as you can see here, uh, in our calendar. And uh, our web app is also updated. And my Google Calendar here is also updated. Okay. Mm, this is basically all the stuff. Uh, in this project and uh, uh, maybe one one thing uh, if you're going to use this tool you don't want the, the end users to end user to see your event title you may want to hide this uh, this can be modified in the in the script okay mm. I think uh, that's almost the, the major stuff I'd, I'd like to share with you and uh, so you can navigate the this this calendar uh, just like the, what you do in Google. Okay, uh, here I only have a day view. I don't have a lot of view, like the Google Calendar here, uh, like the week view, a month view. So I just want to make it simple. And uh, if I if I like to add a lot of views, this will going to cost me a lot of time, and then I'm, I'm start to. Uh, make a simple project here and uh, I think this might be very useful for 
uh, small business and you want your client or your uh, your guest to book a meeting with you and check your calendar to find your availab availability so they can do that uh, so if you're in this uh, in this form it will be very useful for you okay so basically this event is created uh, from your account your Google account and the guest will be invited in your uh, so you are the owner of this event uh, it's not created for the for the guest uh, in Fscript and we cannot do that because we need to have access of the we don't have uh, access to your uh, guest your your client or your guest uh, uh, calendar okay you cannot create a event for them but you can invite them as a guest in your event so this is a uh, this is a uh, best uh, solution that I can I can get for now so if you have any other ideas or you have a better idea you can share with me uh, in the comments okay so basically uh, that's all I'd like to share with you and uh, if you go to the script uh, so if you are interested in the script I'd like I'd also like to share that with you so let me close this app and here's a file I'm going to share with you and uh, if you uh, if you want to use this tool please go, uh, please go to file and make a copy of this file and uh, you will be able to use it so once you copy my file please go to tools uh, Okay, let's let's uh, let's just uh, make a new copy. So let me show you. So go to file, make a copy, and uh, let's rename it uh, custom Google Calendar. That's for YouTube video. Okay, that's okay. And uh, close the old one. All right, uh, we should have a new project here. So first thing, once you copy my file, please go to Tools. So you're loading, loading, loading the data. All right, let's give it a time. Okay, okay so once the file is copied to your drive, and go to Tools and uh, Script Editor. Tools. Script editor. So you are going to have the all the code in this project, okay? Mm. So here, I have four files here. Uh, the first one is a main.js is for all the all the app scripts. Uh, for this project and uh, the the message HTML is just for a message uh, just for a page that is not found or not just like that so we also have a CSS HTML so this is all the styles uh, I used in uh, this project so if you would like to do some modification with the uh, with the style you can modify uh, the script here okay the code here can be changed for the CSS and uh, in this index.html file uh, you can find all the HTML code here and also I didn't uh, create a new file for the JavaScript here so all the JavaScript code uh, you can find it also in this uh, index.html file so you can find the code here so basically, uh, I don't want to go through all of this because I'm not very good at this and uh, I'm just learning. So if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave it uh, below my video so I can check it. I can we can we can uh, study together. All right. So I'd like to show you how to do the change for the 
for the title so you may need to hide the title from the client and so please go to the main GS store file and here uh, let me first uh, remove this test function here all right so at the very beginning here we should have a title here all right so this project here we have a title so this is the title of your event so we we need to change this title so for uh, because this title is uh, the event title so we get the title from this uh, this title so we just change this title to uh, a constant okay so title let's say not available available so that means uh, we already have an event here so we just replace all the event title with this constant not available okay so we save it and uh, you have to publish this as a web application since this is the first time you uh, open this project and this is new and who has access here I'd like to choose the last one so anyone has access and uh, update all right so since this is the first time so it's going to ask you for authorization so review the permissions all right so choose your choose your google account and do the authorization so click again Advanced. Go to the event form and uh, allow this. So it's going to use this calendar API to edit or or check your event in your calendar. Okay. All right. So once you uh, deployed this as a web application, you should be able to have this URL here. So you can copy this URL and share it with your client. So you copy this URL and you visit in your browser. You should be able to have the app application for your calendar. Okay. So for this title, you also can change it. Okay. For this uh, this this app name, I call it default name is Google Calendar. You also can change it uh, in this. Uh, I think it's in this duplicate function here. So this is a title uh, you can change the google calendar to any uh, app name you like all right so i have this uh, this tool here and i believe should works uh, fine just like the old one so then tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's event and uh, the 23rd only have one and they should be able to add a new so I say event uh, 23rd August. All right. So email address I'm going to add myself and uh, description. Leave it as description and add. Uh, I'd like to say uh, this project not is not perfect. You may find find some very buggy stuff there because uh, um, I'd like. I'm just uh, use this example to do some uh, exercise and uh, to to do some. Anyway, I'd like to share this with you. And um, if you find any uh, questions or comments, please uh, please leave uh, leave it in my video. Okay. So basically, uh, so it's working now. This is a new event I just created. So if you click this uh, this button here, it's going to bring you to the current day. Okay, so it's for today's view, and here you have the current uh, timeline here. All right, so basically that's all for today's video. Mm, I, I hope you guys uh, will like this video, and uh, 
so uh, last thing I'd like to I'd like to say so uh, this uh, this tool I don't know because I I saw some uh, I saw some questions from the uh, from the Reddit uh, since uh, it looks like a lot of a lot of people are looking are looking for something like this so I hope uh, some of you may find this will be very useful for you so okay that's all for today's video thank you bye bye I'll see you next time